Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 188. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. And trick number 188, we're going to learn how to do page setup across multiple sheets. I'm going to throw you, show you three different tricks. The first one is, how do you do three sheets at the same time? Well, the way you highlight sheets, you um, with this sheet selected, you hold Shift. Then you take your cursor and click on the last sheet. That highlights the two bookends and everything in between. Now you can just do your page setup. Now in 2003, you go to File, Page Setup. The keyboard shortcut in 2003 is Alt-F-U. Alt-F-U. Page uh, Setup in... Uh, 2007 is page layout ribbon and then this little dialogue launcher hey but I'm gonna show you the keyboard shortcut Un unfortunately my favorite keyboard shortcut alt F U doesn't work anymore because the F's are taken up by the orb but in 2007 it's alt and then P for page layout and then SP now I have this one memorized so I can do it really fast all right let's do some um, landscape remembering that these are all selected landscape We'll say uh, fit to one page wide by one page tall. Margins, I'm going to select horizontal. Now this is really nice because it'll uh, do it horizontally. Vertically for a small table like this wouldn't look so good. Header and footer, hey I'm going to do a, a custom header. And in this version these actually have screen tips that will tell you what they all do. I'm going to put the uh, uh, insert file name and then I'm going to put a type of space, a dash, and a space, and then put the sheet tab name. Then in the middle, I'm going to put the date, and over here, I'm going to put the name. So you can type or use this little code from up here. There's also date. Click OK. How about um, a custom footer here? Oh, page one of question mark. That means no matter how many pages you print out, it'll say one of 10, two of 10, three of 10. If you only print out two, it'll say one of two, two of two. Click OK. So that's some page setup. Now, let's, um, with these highlighted, go to our print preview. Control F2. Sure enough, it did it just fine. You can see the headers up there. And as we uh, move to the next, you can see it works. See, there's two of three down there. If we go to the next, we see three of three. Now I'm going to click Escape. Now watch this. Be careful. Don't leave these highlighted because if you start working here, like typing something, it goes into all the pages. I'm going to uh, right click and ungroup, um, or you can just click on a different sheet. Now watch this. If I hold one and two, um, click on one, click on two, holding uh, control, I've highlighted just those. Let's go look at um, print preview, control F2. Notice now it says one of one. Oh, so I didn't highlight it. Escape. I'm going to hold a control and then click on two right there. So now these are both highlighted. Control F2. And now at the bottom you can see it says one of two. And when I go to the next one it says two of two. So that's what's nice about that footer is it will, uh, it's dynamic. Now that is how we did it all at once. Now I want to add some uh, um, additional formatting to this and then apply it to this. Because sometimes you have your one sheet perfect but you forgot to do all these other ones. So I'm going to uh, change this and then show you how to automatically apply it to the other sheets. Um, Alt PSP to open up uh, page setup. And I'm going to say adjust to 150%. Click OK. Now let's look at just this sheet. Control F3. Oops, oh, Control F1. Sorry, I got that one all wrong. Control F2. Oh, and you can see it's a lot bigger. I'm going to click Escape. Now here's the trick, and I do this a lot because I make a perfect little template, and I, uh, I may, I mean, I have some templates, and I do the page setup just to one sheet. Well, watch this. This is a really weird trick. If you have this sheet with all of the page setup you want to apply to all these hot, the, as the active sheet, you hold Shift and click on the last one. The fact that you just open up that dialog box now, Alt P S P, and click OK will automatically apply it to all of these. Now let's go see. Uh, Control F2. And if I click Next. Oh, it did it just right. 
So that trick is when, if I click over here to deselect them, you have page set up on this one, and you forgot to put them here. You simply, with the, this sheet as the active sheet, highlight them, open up the dialog box, close it, and it automatically does it. Uh, the, the other way to do that is if it really is a template that's the same, then you just do one and then copy the sheets over. So for example, if this was the sheet and I wanted to copy it, instead of right-clicking, uh, copy, create a copy, uh, and then select where you want it here, I'd say after three. I'm not going to do it that way, but that's how you do it the long way. You simply point to the sheet, hold control, click on the sheet and drag up. See that plus, that little plus symbol there and that little downward pointing arrow? That means you're copying the sheet. Then you let go of your mouse and not your mouse, not the control, and it drops a new one. Now, how do you send it to a new sheet? Well, guess what? By default, if you have a sheet and you right click, move or copy, and I'm going to create a copy because I want to keep one here, and you send it to a new workbook, automatically uh, all of the page setup from this sheet will get copied over to this new workbook, not just the content here. Click OK. Now if I open up, this is a new workbook, see it says book one. If I control F2, I can see that all of the uh, page setup came over to that workbook. All right, that's a little bit about uh, page setup, some page setup uh, tricks across sheets into a new different workbook. See you next trick.